Copyright 2019 CNBC LLC All rights reserved Data is a real-time snapshot asterisk data is delayed at least 15 minutes Global business and data also provided by Your browser is not supported The requested video is unable to play The video does not exist in the system we're not able to play this video if an ad blocker is enabled. Please disable your ad blocker on CNBC and reload the page to start the video. All the cool things you can do on your phone's lock screen. Your phone's lock screen is an essential barrier between all your personal information and anyone who happens to pick up your phone. It's designed to keep but you can also take a few shortcuts from the lock screen to access various apps more quickly useful for taking photos, running Google Assistant and Siri, making emergency calls, and more. Whether you have an Android or iOS phone, you can access Google Assistant or Siri, respectively, from the lock screen, though you'll need to do some setup work to access these apps hands-free. On Android, open the Google Assistant app, then tap the compass icon in the lower right. Press on your avatar. For iOS, you'll need to open the Settings app, then choose Face ID and Passcode. Make sure the Siri, with both virtual assistants, some personal information such as your photo library won't show up until your phone is unlocked, but you can access many of these apps' regular features, including weather forecasts, time zones, and web queries. Don't waste time unlocking your phone when you just need to take a quick snap. On Android, this is just for the iPhone owners out there if you press and hold the flashlight button on the lock screen, it's in the lower left hand corner ITLL turn on without your phone needing to be unlocked. Press and hold it, both the quick settings screen on Android left and the control center on iOS right are accessible from the lock screen. Some of your phone's key settings are available from the lock screen even if you don't unlock the phone itself. To see the quick set, among the options available on both Android and iOS are the Bluetooth, WiFi, and airplane mode toggle switches, the flashlight, do not disturb mode, media playback controls, and the display brightness. For further customization, you can change the settings and icons you see on these panels. On Android, on iOS, you can get at all your today view widgets from the lock screen with a simple swipe to the right. These include WhatsApp, as with Siri and the control center, you can block access to the today view from the lock screen under face ID and passcode in settings. To change the widget, Android doesn't have a today view, but it does allow apps to leave widgets on the lock screen. For example, through Android's widgets system, you can set up various apps to show different information. In Google Maps, we can't take you through every Android app that offers a lock screen widget, but if there's information you need on your lock screen you from battery status to the Wii you may well be able to find an app for it with a quick web search. If something serious should happen, don't waste time trying to unlock your or someone else's phone. On Android or i, there are button shortcuts, too. On Android, press